Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I just feel like doing something that's been sitting around for a long time. Have this pretty little frame. So little gold, not bad shape, but from Goodwill. Just need to clean it up, maybe shine it. It's got this nice backing. So, got that little round glass. I'm just going to put some acrylic paint on it and see what I can get out of it. <laughs> or acrylic ink. So, got some Artist Loft White Flow here. And you, you don't need a whole lot. You don't want too much. Although they will dry. Because last time I did this painting, same way. And uh, it was pretty thick. It was a background for a string pole. So, it worked out. I'll show it to you. So yeah, it doesn't I want it a little thick. So yeah, that was the only thing I was worried about is that it was going to uh, crack. It'd take forever to dry, but it's already dry and everything. Now look at the kitty hairs in there. There's my little culprit kitty selfie. <laughs> Alright, so we're good. That's just about enough. Now, let me wet my hands and get the kitty hairs out. Hopefully that's not too much, because like I said last night when I did mine, it was very liquidy. But it worked out. It dried well too. How can I get anything with tweezers that are not bent? There. Oh. <laughs> okay. So there we go. So let me go get that painting real quick. I'll show you. So I did this one the same exact way. Isn't that cool? I love it. So I had to put the acrylic paint, then I used um, acrylic ink. Then I just did a chain pull. Look at the gold in there though. Isn't that cool? I was really, really happy with the outcome of this one. I just love it. Cause I've never had anything like that pretty of a chain pull like that. I didn't even put paint on my chain. I just took the chain and went over it like a whole bunch of times. Ended up real pretty. Feathery. That's what they look like to me. Yeah really dig that background so that's what we're gonna do right now um I don't know if I'm gonna do the chain but eh, we could do that too all right should I push play yeah <laughs> okay so I got quinacridone magenta this is uh, acrylic ink let's shake it right there I just dumped it everywhere on here. And it kind of sinks in and disappears. This is the exact same thickness it was last night, so it's not too thick. It does not crack. As you can see, I just showed you. Okay. Yeah, it looks like chicken pox. That's fine. Okay, and then, which one is that, right? And then, cerulean blue hue. And then I just use my nebulizer machine, you know, that pushes air. It has a hose. I'm going to use that thing unless I'm sick or something. I can adjust it. Am 
my doctor knew I was using it for this. He'd be like, <laughs> that's not what I gave it to you for. <laughs> well, I don't need it. When I need it, I'll use it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Looks pretty dripping. <laughs> and Prussian blue acrylic cake. Prussian blue hue. But yeah, I had to go over that painting like <laughs> probably about six times with just a plain chain. Wiped it off in between, you know? I remember where I'm at here because they sink and then you forget. So this is where it really gets the liquid. Yeah, and it's, you'll be surprised how liquidy it is. But I just showed you the paintings and they work out great. For some reason, the metallic doesn't sink. Probably uh, because it's metallic. <laughs> and that's how I just explained it, but... Acrylic sinks into acrylic. With the same consistency, this is not the same consistency. Like a lot of gold in there. Okay. So, I'll pause this and then I'll set up that. Okay. So, yeah, it's just like a fish tube, you know? Or one of those nebulizer top thingies. Okay, so this kind of splatter, they, it does splatter because it's very liquidy. But I'm just going to go around with it, mix it up, make it look pretty. And then, if I like it a whole bunch, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. But I do have this owl. I could always put that in the middle with that frame. It'll look pretty too. I don't know if that'll look good or not, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the volume down. Okay, so that's it. It's like easy breezy. Isn't that pretty, that metallic in there? I did this once before in tiles. Uh, I'll just lift up the rack. Oh, we'll torch it too. So I like it just the way it is. I'll probably fix this corner right here. Um, don't get much cells really. Specking up a little. I don't like that specs. Okay, so one more time just to blow over here. So I don't like the specs that the what you call it made torch. So you just lift them up. 
push them down. I love that metallic Amsterdam. Okay. Now this being glass, maybe it will dry differently. I don't know. But we'll see, will we? Told you it was gonna be liquidy. That's exactly the way that painting was last night. And it's funny how you can't really see the cerulean blue too much, but it just gives a whole lot of different colors in there. It's pretty. So I don't know about this black and gold owl. Mm. I don't think so. I think I'll just leave it like that. This is cool. Let's see what the frame will look like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just using stuff up. This would be pretty. It's got little stand things too. Help it stand up in there. That would be pretty. Okay, well that's it. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do a chain pull on this one. I'll leave that alone. And then, that's it. I like it the way it is. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye bye now. <laughs>